We are waiting for you to come in the room. <laughs> Official talk show that's going to be called Glam with Galit. I'm the founder of Girlactic, and it has been my dream to actually have my own makeup talk show. It is the reason why Girlactic started about 18 years ago. Very small with $1,800. Enough talk about that. Mm -hmm. um, but I do want to introduce you guys to my guest co host today, which is Nikki Parisi. Hello, everyone. She is a finalist on the season one of American Beauty Star. That is, well, probably by the time you guys see this <laughs> first episode, the first or second episode would have already aired. So, this is Nikki. Hi, everybody. And today we are going to talk to you about some of our beauty hacks that we love and we want to share with you. So, hope you enjoy this first episode and let's get right to it. So, what's a beauty hack? For us, a beauty hack is if there's a, a problem that you're having with a makeup product or an application, you need the best, easiest solution. Just to give you a quick rundown, I used to do pageants when I was 16 and my eyeliner used to always run. And I would always just take a Q-tip, lick it, and then wipe away. So I created this product called the Invisible Shadow Primary Eraser. I know the name sounds confusing. It's because <laughs> you can use it in different ways, but today I'm using it as an eraser. So first things first, I've left my smudged eyeliner on my lower lash line. As you can see, on my left side, it's absolutely spotless, and on this side, I have some smudginess. So I'm going to show you guys what you're supposed to do. You're gonna take the invisible liner and you're just going to apply it on your lower lash line, just like that. And then take a Q-tip and just wipe away. And voila. All the black smudginess goop that we don't want is on the Q-tip. So by doing this eraser, it's just your best friend and it just helps wipe away anything. You can also use this to clean your wing liner, um, mascara if it comes down, if your eyeliner smudges. There's so many different ways you can use this product and I just think everybody needs it. So that's beauty hack number one. For, for any of our makeup artists that are working in the industry, the one amazing thing about this invisible eyeliner erase shadow eraser is that during the day when your mouths are getting hot, same thing. You can do a touch up and then also reapply if you need to and it's gonna keep it in place. Yeah. Whether we have sweating, whether the, the room temperatures are up and down, this product's gonna help you achieve your goal. Yeah, and it's great because it just fits in any bag. If it's a wallet, a clutch, your your coin purse, whatever, it fits in and it just cleans your makeup just like that. In a snap. In a snap. <laughs> Moving along to hack number two, we have the um, matte bronzer in Cabo, which is a matte, hence matte bronzer, um, <laughs> in, in Cabo. It comes in two shades, but the hack that I wanna show you is Sometimes you're on the run and you need a little bit of color, but if you just put a little bit of the bronzer, you know, like on your cheekbone, a little bit on your forehead, you, your eyes can look a little bit bare. So because it's a very natural kind of skin tone color and it doesn't have any orange in it, it's also nice if you just apply it on your eyes as a shadow. Okay, so we're gonna take the matte bronzer in Cabo, just apply a little bit on the brush, and then we're just going to put it just on the forehead and a little bit on the jawline. You can kind of do almost like a C if you'd like. And then you're just going to put a little bit on the eyes. Of course, you don't need to use like a blush brush. You could use an eyeshadow brush if you wanted or your fingers, but it just gives a little bit of color. You guys see? Just gives that like little pop. Another way people actually use the Cabo, I've learned from a lot of um, influencers, is this became really popular to use as a contour. So if you do have the Cabo or Casablanca or you don't have it, um, this is a great tip that I actually learned from the social media community and also from makeup artists. So that is hack 
number two. Before we go on to our third hack, Nikki and I were talking and we said, wouldn't it be great if we actually had a live caller come in? So I actually asked on my Snapchat um, if anyone has any makeup struggles and if we can help answer them. So we do have someone and we're gonna FaceTime her right now. Now it's gonna work. Hello, are you driving? Okay, pull over. <laughs> okay, so on the phone today, we have Cheryl from Rochester, New York, and she is going to share with us her makeup struggle. Hi. Well, as you can probably see, it's 4.03 here in the afternoon. I've already put my makeup on twice today, and it is completely gone. So I can't get the makeup to stay on my face. It's a real issue. Can you help me out? Yeah. So, do you have this pro do you have this problem with just foundation or also eyeshadow, highlighters, everything, 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 right to lipstick, blush? It just like disappears into my skin. Okay. So, the first thing I want to share with you is that you are probably not looking for the right makeup that works for your skin. So what I mean by that is, if any of you guys have problems with makeup staying on longer, that means you need makeup that actually dries down on your skin. Meaning, um, I mean, you could use powder, but if you're gonna use, let's say, an eyeshadow powder, you need to use a base underneath, but not just any base. You need to use something that dries down because that is going to be a barrier to hold the makeup and it's not gonna slip and move and disappear. So, um, we're actually, I'm actually going to send you a few things from the Galactic line for you to test out and um, I want you to tell me if it's going to disappear. And the products that I'm suggesting for you is one, I'm actually just going to put you like this. So yeah. Um, so the products that I'm suggesting is number one for your eyes, you're going to use the metallic shadow sticks. And why I'm saying that is because these shadow sticks dry down. So if you put this on in the morning, it's gonna still be on at like six o'clock at night. And if you want it to be extra proof, then you can apply eyeshadow on top. And by doing the eyeshadow on top, it's basically like a double barrier, not allowing your skin to let the oils out to make your eye makeup move. So you're gonna use, try it just with a metallic shadow stick. And then if that doesn't work, which I still think it's gonna work, then you can just put powder eyeshadow on top. Okay. So that's the first That's the first thing. This is the metallic shadow stick, you guys, and we're actually gonna show it to you in the show as a different hack of how to use it, um, but that's just another way. Mm -hmm. um, let's say to keep your blush or your, if you have like a shimmering highlighter and that's disappearing mm -hmm. like, because you wanna keep that yeah. glow, you wanna use this product. Um, it's actually called the Face Glimmer, and it's a liquid luminizer that dries down. So you apply it on your skin, it's gonna dry down, and then you can apply a shimmering powder on top, and it's gonna dry with the liquid luminizer. So even if you went like this, okay. it's not gonna come off because it's dried down. For your lips, you wanna use like a liquid lipstick formula that's actually going to stay on long and has really good wearability. So we're also gonna send you the matte lip paint by Girlactic. It's a liquid lipstick. Okay. And it feels really good on the skin. It's not drying or anything. Um, it only really starts to wear off when you eat something that's oily. That's what breaks mm -hmm. down okay. um, the formula. So don't put any primer on your lips, nothing, because it works against the formula. You're just gonna wanna put the, the matte liquid lipstick. And mm -hmm. if you want even like more, you know, if you want to test things out more, if it's not staying on, which I do believe it will, you can always like seal it with like, if you have like a matching powder or something, you can always put that okay. on top. The more you layer, as long as it's thin and it works with the base of the product, mm -hmm. it's going to help it and mm -hmm. it's going to look, it's going to look good. For foundation, you need a foundation that dries down. Currently right now, Girlactic doesn't do that, but I actually do know there is a brand that does a dry, dry down foundation. I actually think Estee Lauder does one. Um, and I also okay. think there's a brand, it's called Frankie Rose Cosmetics. Mm. Their foundations dry down too. So you need something that dries down. So I hope this helps your makeup struggles and we are excited to send you Girlactic. And hopefully this is the answer. I'm so excited. Thank you so much. It would be wonderful.
All right, say bye to everybody. All right, bye, Cheryl. Bye. 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 Moving on to hack number three. We actually were looking for a hack to share with you guys that would kind of be like somewhat cool and kind of cute. Um, so we are going to bring in, are we bringing in a model now? Yeah, we should okay, bring Okay, we're going to bring in a model and we're going to demonstrate um, the next three hacks on her. Okay, so hi, Maya. Um, we are going to do hack number three and Nikki is going to give you... It, take it away. All right. So one thing that we wanted to do was to show you how to build color in the correct placement on your eye. This is very important because this mistake has seen all over. Yeah. So this is more for like a smudgy look. Yeah. And um, this is actually a really cool technique. Mm -hmm. It is fun. So what you want to do is, uh, if we have my hair, close her eye, is you want to create the hashtag drawn like this placed on the eyelid of the eye, not going above the arch so that you can blend it into perfect placement for a spooky eye. So after you put your hashtag into place on the eyelid, I would go in with my brush and blend away. Now we've built onto my uh, smoky eye with the brown. You can layer this and keep building this to get more pigment as you go. Yeah, I really like this because really it's like what you said. It's like a cheat sheet of where you know not exactly. to go over. Mm -hmm. So I actually think this is an excellent tip if you guys yes. don't know you know how to do that smoky eye where to stop yeah one other thing I do have to say is that it's very very important that if you're taking your blending brush you use a brush that has nothing on it so yeah. that you're not you're also not crossing that line and it'll be really smooth okay so now we're going to go on to hack number four okay guys so what we want to do is talk about building a base for a highlight that stays on all day we're gonna take our 14k face glimmer place three dots on the cheekbone area. And for this, I'm just going to easily blend this in. One of the reasons why I love blending a liquid luminizer with a finger versus a brush is that the oils and the heat in your finger actually melt down the product better so it sits much smoother, smoother. and more natural on mm -hmm. the skin as opposed to applying it with a brush yeah. Um, or a yeah. sponge. Yeah, totally. So for me, my personal preference would be then to spray my face with a setting spray. In this case, we have Mario Badusco. Close your eyes for me, please. And it smells really good. It smells amazing. And then you take your highlighter weapon of choice. In this case, I'm going to use Seam See-Through. Taking off a little bit of the extra product, laying it over where we placed blending in with that brush and Maya has a flawless glow that will now last her all day long. So if like I feel like if you want to use the rose water that's just to make it last even yeah, longer. Yeah it gives a you dewy can, look. Yeah just I think like the rose water gives more of that like dewy look totally. and that that like extra punch of the powder like lasting but mm -hmm. you could probably even if you wanted it to be like softer, you could do it with the face glimmer. Yeah, too, you could. As a primer. You could. So I think you kind of have like two options, but I think really. Well, this is both. Yeah. I feel like the rose water honestly gives that more of that like dewy, mm -hmm. like glow well, to it. But that's what I love about it. And now you, now on, now on top of your cream, which has that liquid base in it mm -hmm. already, now this powder being set on top of it, now like you've been talking about during the show, the, the product has a base which to build on and to last on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think it looks really, really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. you look beautiful. I love it. So now we're on to hack number five. All right. So we have the lip Pearls Duo in Showstopper. But I'm gonna start with the shiny side here and apply this to Maya's full lip. I always start in the middle and work my way out to have more control over where the product is going. Same thing at the top where our Cupid's bow. So to pump this up, we are going to take the side with the glimmer and we're going to just place it in this area of the cupid's bow for a zazzle. Yeah. You just went like right above just the cupid's bow right area, above right? it. Yeah. Yeah. And it just gives that like it gives it sexy a pop. 
fullest how <laughs> like I like it. Yeah, it gives a little I sometimes pizzazz. even do that. Yeah. That little trick. And it's and you it's, can even go a little bit if you wanted it even like sexier, you probably could go a little bit more. So look at Maya on this side of her face. She's girl activated. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this show we created. It was so much fun doing it. And if there's beauty topics you guys want us to cover, let us know down in the comments below. And if you love this video, then you guys know what to do. Give it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And we can't wait to do the next Glam with Galit and take you on my journey. Bye. Bye. Did you say bye? <laughs>